Hello, everyone. Suwanis Chuck here, continuing the workbook lessons of A Course in Miracles. And today we're on lesson 318. And today's lesson is, in me, salvation's means and end are one. In me, God's holy son, all reconciled, are rather reconciled, all parts of heaven's plan to save the world. What could conflict when all the parts have but one purpose and one aim? How could there be a single part that stands alone or one of more or less important than the rest? I'm going to read that again. How could there be a single part that stands alone or one or one of more or less important than the rest? I am the means by which God's son is saved because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as the thing I seek. I am the goal the world is searching for. I am God's son, his eternal love. I am salvation's means and end as well. The prayer is, let me today, my father, take the role you offer me in your request that I accept atonement for myself. For thus does what is thereby reconciled to me become as surely reconciled to you. Accepting the atonement for ourselves is, is that state of guiltlessness. And thus being in who we are as we were created in our holiness, our sinlessness, and our innocence. It says, I am the means by which God's son is saved. You are, I am. Because salvation's purpose is to find the sinlessness that is for us to recognize our sinlessness by letting go of all of that of the ego thought system that says otherwise. You know, to find the sinlessness that God has placed in me. I was created as a thing I seek. So let's further reflect on this lesson uh, through Tina Marie Spalding, Spalding in her book, A Year of Forgiveness. Uh, in which uh, she is channeling Jesus. And here is what Jesus has to say through Tina today. Again, the lesson is, in me salvation's means and end are one. And Jesus says, you are blessed beings indeed, and I am the one you know as Jesus. The phrase, looking for love in all the wrong places, comes to mind with this particular lesson. You constantly seek salvation outside yourself, but your salvation is built into your DNA in your particular structure of personality, mind, body, and spirit. You have been given everything you need to come to a place of peace. What is reflected back to you is your guidance system, your feeling self. This means when you align with happiness, when you align with joy, when you align with feels good to you, then you are on track to your salvation. The reintegration of your mind into wholeness and holiness is what the world needs for its salvation. As long as you are running around in fear and feeling guilty or assuming others of being guilty, the world 
cannot change. This transformation your planet is going through must be a collective transformation. Even though your world will shift when you become reintegrated. If your mind becomes whole and focused on love, your entire experience will change. But many of you want a collective shift. And that is what we seek too. We seek to gather as many miracle-minded beings as possible. And with that gathering, the power builds and builds. And the effect builds and builds. Because one being aligned with love is far more powerful than one being aligned with fear. The fear aligned being is constricted. I'm going to read, read that again. The fear aligned being is constricted, limited, separation focused, and isolated. Now the love focused, Jesus says, that love focused being is expansive, extended, and creative and engages with as many beings as possible. This is what we seek to have thousands upon thousands of beings open their hearts, open their minds, become defenseless, refuse to attack and bring to this time and place the peace and joy that is your natural inheritance. You, we encourage you all, Jesus says, to double down on your practice, to let go of anything that makes you feel bad and choose again. Choose health, choose life, choose abundance, choose love, choose to extend into your world the beautiful gifts that you have been given. I am the one you know as Jesus, and I will speak with you again. So that is our lesson for today, lesson 318 in my salvation, in my salvation means and end are one. In me, salvations means and end are one. All right. I hope that, that assists you in your reflection and your practice today. So until the next video, which will be for lesson 319, um, I extend much love to you from my heart to yours. Bye for now.